Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make really easy keto almond cookies using just these four ingredients and as always I've written a full blog post which I'll leave down below which you can click through to pin bookmark and save whenever you want to make these cookies and make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos and comment to let me know if you give this recipe a try and how you like them. So the ingredients we have today are ground almonds for our almond cookies. I'm using vanilla for flavor but you could also use almond extract if you want. I've got one egg white over here. What I did was I had scrambled eggs for breakfast. I popped the extra egg yolk into my scrambled eggs, separated it out, popped my egg white into this little ramekin, kept it in the fridge all day, and now it's time for cookies. And I'm using stevia as my sweetener of choice, but you can feel free to use your sweetener or sugar, whatever you like instead. So step number one, we're going to get the oven preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, which is 350 Fahrenheit. I'm going to line a baking tray with baking paper, get it well greased, and then we'll get to whisking up our egg white. So I've got my oven preheating behind me. That is the big noise. And I've moved the egg white into the bowl over here. And now we're going to whisk it until it is thick and fluffy. Okay, thick and white. And now we're going to add in our stevia. I'm going for a quarter of a cup. But if you want it sweeter, you could go for even a third of a cup of stevia. So we're going to add that in and give it another whisk through. Okay, and we're going to add in our vanilla now, a teaspoon of vanilla. You can go half teaspoon to a teaspoon. I just like it nice and vanilla-y. Is that a word? We'll add in a teaspoon of vanilla. And we'll whisk that in until it's smooth. There we go, that is beautiful. Look at that lovely thick meringue, really. Um, and now we're just going to fold through our ground almonds. So I've moved beaters aside, and now we'll just fold through our ground almonds until we have a cookie batter. Just like that, just mix it all through. And in a sec, we will have a lovely batter that we're going to drop by the teaspoon onto our prepared baking tray to form our cookies. Oh, that's perfect. It smells so lovely and nutty. Mmm, yes, perfect. So, I've got my baking tray here that I prepared earlier. I kind of like using two teaspoons for that. We, this, we're going to drop about a teaspoon per cookie and fill the cookie sheet with all of our cookie batter. So I've filled my baking sheet with all of my cookies and they're going to go into the oven now which as I said is preheated to 180 degrees Celsius which is 350 Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. If you want them really chewy then take them out at 10. If you want more of a crispy biscuit then keep it in until 15 or even a little bit longer. It is up to you but I will show you once my almond cookies are done. The cookies are out the oven. How good do they look? Nice and crisp. I'm just going to let them cool for a while and then move them onto a plate. So there we go. We've got a beautiful plate full of our almond cookies. They're kind of like macaroons, but more so like cookies and loads more to spare. And I like having them just the teaspoon full because kind of portion control and they're just, oh, they're so perfect. And yet the longer you cook them, the more they crisp up. They're quite hard little cookies perfect for a snack that's low carb keto friendly gluten free and just so yum and that is the video for today thank you so much for watching make sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos and comment to let me know if you give this lovely recipe a try and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post which will have the full recipe and the step-by-step -step instructions that you can pin bookmark and save for whenever you want to make this recipe so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon Bye.